How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sun and welcome to another episode of the Dutch Colonial Conquest campaign where we last left off. We're just building up uh, after that last war with the English. We pretty much destroyed them. It actually, like, it's funny. It took so long for me to get an edge on them in the previous recording session and then right at the beginning of this session at the start of the last episode I was like, oh, this is how you do it. You just bring a bigger army up here to block them off until you get a siege. And that worked out fine. Otherwise, I might have been fumbling around for a while. So it's good to take a break sometimes, you know? Either way, let's uh, go ahead and continue onwards here, I would say. Humanist is a good idea uh, many times in a colonial campaign. It makes it so you don't have to worry about um, uprisings in Africa and stuff as nearly as much. Um, at the same time, we are already working on expansion ideas and we're not even halfway done yet. So I don't think that'll be a super great idea. It might actually be a good idea to go, like, maritime. I I don't think it's good a good idea, really, <laughs> ever, maybe, to go naval, but maritime has some good stuff, like the naval force limit modifier, uh, blockade efficiency is all right. It's it's really, actually, it's not that good. But but it's, it's still, it leads to some interesting policies and stuff, which is interesting. Trade is always good, though, so maybe we do that. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty good one. There is no exploration ideas policy. Interesting. Seems like there would be. Um, quality is, of course, really good in, like, any campaign, really. So we might do that. Quality could be a good idea to go, uh, to go with. And that, that, yeah, it could be good. I don't know. We'll see. But I do think it would be pretty helpful to go quality. It always is. And we have a lot of uh, a lot of military points that we don't necessarily need. So that could, you know, that could work. Let's keep that in mind. Why don't we? Um, it looks like we're going to be able to get through this time without any unrest, even if we, even with two uncored provinces, which is nice. Oh, that's part of it, is that they don't count... I forgot about that little thing. They don't count towards overextension if they are not in your continent or whatever. Or if they are in a colonial region, rather. I think that's the rule. There we go. Swollen Dam has become self-sustaining. Uh, that means we have one colonist free. It would probably be good to keep going further. Um, but it could be good also to colonize more in here. It's We want to colonize everywhere. Um, and people were saying, hey, go for Brazil, and I do need to go for Brazil more. So we, we have these two colonies down here. Let's see, we got Sao Tome and Rio de Janeiro. Um, I kind of feel that we should go, like, hmm, well, I don't know, man. Like, the East Coast could be good to get more of, you know, that's always helpful. So we could do that, go with the East Coast even more, um... Go in Africa. Where, where do we have? We have one Connecticut. So how about this? How about we do what I sometimes do, which is instead of focusing on one area, you have one colonist in each of area that you want to focus on. So we have one in the Caribbean. How about that? That's, that works for me. One in the Caribbean for the near future. One in the East Coast for the near future. The last one, where do we want them to go? South Africa? You know, West Africa? Or the Bend of Africa? Or do we want them to go to Brazil? Well, I don't know. I feel like Brazil could be good. Let's go to Brazil. Um, and, you know, but in general, I find that to be a good way to kind of conceptualize things, you know, go with, uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily, uh, all focused in one area. We definitely want to go with this. We definitely want to go with this. Both of those are going to be high on our list of things to do once we get these ideas finished, but first we actually have to do that. So I think, uh, we have probably quite a bit of aggressive expansion with the people around us. Like, even France is a little bit upset. Uh, people in the HRE are not too upset, so we could probably eat some more stuff there in a little bit. But, like, Austria, allied with Great Britain, doesn't surprise me. Um, we should definitely, before we take new ideas, what's our manpower looking like? We should, we should keep that, I think. Um... But what we should do is get idea cost down if we're going to take ideas, which I think we will in a second. Uh, yeah, do that. Um, explore ready. Just keep going. Just explore everything, dude. Um, oh, look at that. Splintered Ethiopia and surrounding areas. That's what I like to see. Okay. 
Um, I got a lot of Diplo power. Can embrace the institution soon. 63 is when it said it'd be in most places, right? Yeah, it's starting to to really speed up. Yeah, so it's about to be. It's in Utrecht now. It's gonna be in some other places soon as well. We really want Vlander, and that would connect our land up uh, in a nicer fashion. And that's the last Flemish province, I believe. The rest is Wallonian, which we still want to get, but uh, we have permanent claims on, so that's good. And people, someone in the comments, I don't, I don't remember who you are. I'm sorry, but uh, someone, you were, you were saying, you know, you should have been a little more patient with your last war against Austria. I completely agree. I should have been more patient. You're right. I, I jumped the gun a little too soon because I was. Um, I, I mean, I think I had a good reason to do so, but it ended up not being the right decision in hindsight. Um, you know, I thought that France would might declare, and then I would be screwed because I wouldn't be able to to get the occupations and choose, be the one who's choosing the, the provinces, you know? I was a little worried, so I jumped the gun maybe a little too soon, and you were correct about that, so... Uh, so, yeah, that, that was definitely true. I, I will accept that. We have a... We're gonna have a... <laughs> We're gonna have a freaking expensive army, I can tell you that much right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get more in, no, let's see, 14, four, eight. That seems pretty good to me. Hmm. Venice, Savoy, and the Knights, I like that. France would join, Denmark wouldn't. Baden, oh my god, I forgot Baden is the emperor. Baden, who are you allied to? That's hilarious. I always, I keep forgetting. Freaking Baden is the emperor. I think we should maybe do this war. I don't think, I don't want to jump the gun with this one though. I think we're gonna wait a little bit. I think it's a, a good idea to, to wait a little bit here. Um, not even because we couldn't win. I think we could win, but I'm gonna wait for myself and France to recover a little bit. However, the risk is, of course, that France could declare. But if they do, we'll rush down there and siege that land. France has a lot of manpower, though, so maybe it's not that big a deal or a worry or concern. Um, well, we want to look at Austria, probably, I would assume. So I wish Denmark would join. That's the only thing I'm, I will say. Um, hmm. Baden will join. If we declare on Baden, everyone will join. So Milan... Milan. Uh, two provinces. Not too worried. Milan is not a big deal. Alright, so discount Milan. Bottom themselves, not too big a deal. Mines, not too big a deal. Munster, right next to me. I could probably get them out at the start of the war. And Wurttemberg. Wurttemberg is a one province mire. <sighs> I think we could win that. I, I mean, I'm fairly certain we could win that, if we're being honest. But where is the where are the French troops? That's what I want to know. That's what I need to know before I'm willing to go all in on this war. And also, we should just wait for a little bit more manpower, at least. At least a little more. Um, 98%. Okay, yeah, we'll wait until... It's at least in our capital. 270. You can see the cost of the institution embracement is is plummeting. So once it's in Breda, well, we're not taking up yet. Let's just wait. We could might we might be able to just like get it for free. Probably not, but you know, um, it should be fine. There you go. We managed to convert the heretics of London. Nice. This is good. Provincial unrest, that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, we should, at some point, make Wallonian accepted culture, but we can't. Hmm. Because we only own Liege slash Lewick. Okay, that's fine. Um... I think we wait for Austria to get a little weaker, and then we go ahead and and jump on their backs. Uh, why would Switzerland join now? Excuse me? That's not cool. Super not cool, dude. I wish Denmark would join. It's like, yeah, I know you guys like each other decently, but screw off. 
We're making pretty good money, so let's go ahead and get like a Diplo rep, dude. Why not? What is your trust with me or whatever? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, Connecticut has become a uh, self-sustaining colony. That's good. I think we want to go ahead and keep colonizing up here for a little bit because it will. I think it'll benefit us. Um, we have one down there, one in Cuba, and we should do one over here next. So how about the next one after Bayamo? Bayamo, uh, then we'll actually go ahead and and do that. But for now, let's go to Naragansett. I believe is how it's pronounced. I don't know, but I hope it's right. Uh, connect up our land up there for our colonial nation. Sounds good. Okay, what is this? Uh, money. Yep. The Katapeng Beast. Okay. I don't care about this at all. I will do the money. <laughs> um, okay, good. We have a lot of Diplo power. We should go ahead and convert some cultures, probably. We're going to marriage them. Um, let's go ahead and... What was I going to do? Yeah, culture conversion should be something we do. So let's go ahead and sort by cost. Kate Verde, Solendam. Yes, absolutely you guys can. Luik, no, nah, again, I don't care for any of this stuff. I think that's all going to be fine in the long run. So that's fine. Let's maybe, we need other stuff to do. I guess we'll go in and, uh, and pump some power into, into development. Why not? Ostfriesland? There you go. Ghent, you can have some. Uh, Kales, Calais. Sure. Let's go in and uh, explore some more. I wish we could have a fourth colonist, but as far as I know, there's no way to do that to get a fourth colonist unless you're Portugal. Maybe does Castile get one too? I don't remember. But only from national ideas, essentially. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. That's actually decent. Um, I mean, it's still bad, but... Social mobility. Uh... I really dislike that. That's not very nice of you. I think we'll do this, though. Um, and it may sound a little crazy now they have a lot of influence. But I'm going to go ahead and take away some other, you know, land. I was going to do that at some point anyways, but but now they want territory. That's just annoying, honestly. Uh, you know what? We should go ahead and go to war with Cologne at some point. I do want to I think Cologne is a good province to have. Um and I do want to move eastward a tiny bit. Maybe not a whole lot, but I want to take like Aachen at some point and uh, in Cologne uh, when they are weaker and they are right now. So let's go ahead and try to vassalize them. And also, it'd be good to feed. It'd be good to get a little vassal and, and feed them some land. We, some land we could feed them like Cleves and you know Cleves and in Berg um, and stuff, and and get them a little bit stronger in Aachen so that we can have like a someone to help throw manpower at problems. You know. It's good to have that in this game. Um, I think we should ally, like, one of France's allies so we can have another, like, mutual ally. You're already at war with them. Uh, the Commonwealth is doing quite well in this game. They're actually doing really well. Uh, they are rivaled to Great Britain. Who's rivaled to... Oh, the Evangelical Union. Interesting. Maybe we ally someone smaller, like Bavaria. Could be good. Let's do it. I think that'll be fine. Let's let's go ahead and ally them. Uh, so the Evangelical Union is now active, which is very interesting. It's probably going to tell us about like everyone that we don't care about, really. And who everyone is uh, <laughs> going to side with. I personally like never join in on either side. 
Unless I did it in the multiplayer mini campaign that I have going on with Jack, but beyond that, I don't really, uh, normally don't do that because I really don't see the point. Unless, unless you're the leader, which then I can kind of see it, but I don't think I would be. I think Brandenburg will be when they inevitably uh, join the, the Protestant League if they aren't in already. Okay, so let's look what we got. We got for the Catholics, we have the Emperor leading, of course. You got uh, Baden, Spain. The Commonwealth and Hungary, okay. And Brandenburg is in the Catholic League? Wow. So, that, yeah, okay, Catholics got Brandenburg, Spain. Yeah, Brandenburg, Spain, Commonwealth. That's the big ones, the heavy hitters. And Hungary. Uh, Bohemia is the leader of the Protestant League. So, Bohemia, Denmark is pretty big. And that's basically it. Oh, Muscovy. Didn't see that. Okay, so Muscovy, Denmark. And what was the other one? I'm stretching out. Uh, Denmark, Bohemia. Oh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans have now joined the, the Protestant side. Okay. Wow. So this is. It's going to be maybe a bit closer than I thought. It depends what side France goes on, really. What side will France go on? It's almost tech time. Do we think we'll be able to get it in the rest of our country in time? Oh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, France has declared war on uh, on Austria. Yes, 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 join, 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 join. Now is the part where we're dirty. Dirty little bastards. Um, bring half that army there, half that army there, and then bring the rest there. Uh, we, I don't really care if what happens right now. We just need to get on these forts. Nice. Okay, raise the war taxes, because why not? Uh, take our fleet. And go like that. And suck it. Suck it, France. How does that make you feel? That now you do not have the ability to... So that's interesting, that they are actually more aggressive than I thought they would be, necessarily. And they declared a war because of, like, you know, the fact that they... <laughs> Because of the fact that they, um... Mm, well, my guess is they declared because of the fact that Austria was getting a little bit beat up by other people. And that's cool. Cool, we already won, a, we already won one of the sieges, so that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and, I suppose, get this other, uh... Go ahead and get the this other army here and move this one up here. I don't really care if the armies get all of them up mixed up they're even numbers so we should just be able to split them when the war is over and you know com combine them all and then split them up there we go we won the siege of that well wow, that was t that was totally hard right and now we'll just defend them but but france you're silly man you think that i'm gonna let you get these no i'm not transferring you don't transfer i'm not gonna transfer that's the rule and that's i guess the positive of this is that you can actually there's no way the ai can say hey you need to give me this province because i'm the one who blah 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 so this is kind of funny. I wonder if they'll actually give me anything, though. They probably won't, if I had to imagine. They're probably going to be pissed at me, if anything. But I, I think I do prefer the fact that France declared the war. Spain no longer considers us a rival. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... The yearly inflation reduction guy is fine, I think. We also need to develop some more, apparently. Come on, just give me the... Just give it to me. There's the Siege of Flandern. Nice. They beat up their navy a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's go and split up again. And now we wait. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do anything else in this war. Um, I really hope they give me... Flandern or something. They probably won't because they're going to be probably pissed that I'm here. Uh, that I'm controlling the land. But, like, screw France. <laughs> it's so funny to do this. I wonder if they'll take like this province down here. It's Swabian culture, but they might. The French might take it. 
Yeah, France, what you gonna do, man? The British are in this war. Uh, I didn't realize that. They haven't even tried to siege London. Like, good. I don't want to mess with them. We might go ahead and uh, toss some men at the British army if they do. That might be worth it, actually. But, uh, yeah, in general, though, I think this is looking all right. I don't really think there's anything bad going on in this war. Uh, are we done exploring? Have we explored all we can explore? Why did you not give me the pop-up this time? You can circumnavigate the globe now, probably. If not, you'll, you know, you'll die, but... Uh, apparently a colony finished, too, and I forgot to send it somewhere else. Um, I'll tell you what. Until we get a colonial nation, let's just focus on going to Brazil. Because then they can colonize for us, which is helpful. Oh my god, the Spanish freaking joined this war. That's really annoying. Tell you what. I wasn't going to help out anymore, but, you know, Spain, you've doomed your alliance. We're going to Vienna, boys. Might as well. But France, you should, like, peace out of this war. You know, you realize I'm never going to give you that, lo that land, France, right? I They're like, but come on, I have claims on it. Come on, guys. Let's develop Cape a little bit, why not? Hmm... I mean, if since Brandenburg is in this war, I really have no feel, fear at all. Okay, Cape has the pro, uh, culture we desire. Come into Ostmark. We will siege Vienna. Bayamo has become a colony, and it is Protestant. Good. Uh, we should get a colonial nation next month at the tick, at the tick of the month. Oh yeah, that's right. We have our like Joan of Arc figure, don't we? No. No. Province over here. No thing. Why not? Why not? Tell me why. One, two, three, four, five. Why? Why not? Why is there none? It's probably because of, like, the, uh, whatever. You know, it's the, the, probably because of the, the occupation there, huh? Munster got pieced out. Good. Yeah, that's what you gotta do, France. You just gotta start piecing people out, man. One at a time. One at a time. I'm gonna siege down Austria, though, so, you know. Okay, cool. I need to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been a great couple of episodes. Um, I'm about to go to class in like half an hour. But either way, for now, thanks for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next time later when we'll go ahead and continue onwards with the Colonial Conquest campaign. Now that we've conquered London, I feel like we're going to be pretty strong and unstoppable. Not unstoppable, but we're going to be pretty strong in our... Colonial efforts are going to increase a lot because of the fact that we're earning crap tons of money. So I uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.